Dr. Suachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Very often when fertility treatment options are suggested to patients, two common treatments come up. They are IVF and IUI. IVF is in vitro fertilization and IUI is intrauterine insemination. And patients are often asking us the differences between IUI and IVF. So today we are going to address that question. While these treatments are often mentioned together, they have many significant differences. Let's look at first the complexity. IUI or intrauterine insemination refers to one procedure where prepared sperm is placed directly in the patient's uterus when she is ovulating in order to bring about fertilization. IUI may be performed along with the women's natural cycle or timed with fertility medications to stimulate ovulation. IVF on the other hand is a process which consists of several stages and requires more than one procedure. First the ovaries are stimulated using a series of fertility medications. Then the patient undergoes egg retrieval in a daycare procedure under mild anesthesia. Then after embryos have been created and incubated in the lab, they are placed directly into the uterus in the embryo transfer procedure. Even with the use of fertility drugs, going through IUI is less physically demanding than undergoing IVF. The second difference is the risk of multiples. IUI with fertility medications carries a significant risk of multiple pregnancies including higher order multiples which is triplets or more. A good clinic will carefully monitor your follicles to make sure that only a safe number or of eggs are mature before IUI but they cannot entirely eliminate the risk. Recent advances in IVF especially Blastosis transfer mean that modern fertility clinics now transfer only one or two embryos per IVF cycle. As a result, the risk of multiple pregnancies for IVF patients is much lower than it used to be. Let's look at the next difference, success rates. It's never easy to be specific about the success rate of a given treatment as there are so many variables that affect individual side cases. But statistically, IUI has a lower success rate than IVF and the gap widens as the woman, the patient, ages. IUI with fertility medications, commonly clomiphene citrate or letrozole, the average success rate ranges from 8 to 15 percent per cycle for patients under 35 years of age and up to 2 to 5 percent for patients over 40. IVF using a woman's own eggs gives an average success rate ranging from 40 percent to 45 percent for patients under 35 and 15% or less for women over 42. Let's look at the next difference, time. The factor of time cuts both ways when you are weighing both these options. IUI is a much shorter process than IVF. So if your first cycle is successful, it could be the quickest route to bring home a baby. However, because of the gap in success rates between the two treatments, some patients in their late 30s to early 40s may get pregnant faster by going directly to IVF rather than waiting until they have several failed IUI cycles. Cost is also a factor. An IUI cycle costs much less than an IVF cycle and this is a serious consideration for many patients. However, depending on your diagnosis and your chances of conceiving through IUI, it may be more cost effective to go directly to an IVF cycle rather than dealing with multiple failed IUI cycles before you ultimately proceed to IVF. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.